You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Somebody me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Supernova: The Baron's Path. So everyone, let's just go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining. You. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> what he lacks in training for now, he makes up for in spirit. Whoa, a compliment from the Baron? I can certainly see that. To be fair, I imagine that even Daniel, with all his training, would have needed some supervision, if not as much. Well, he's not Templar. The raccoon is. Yeah, he's not. I just gotta get better at it. Anyway, if you don't mind, Greg, I have something of my own to discuss with you. I'm all ears. Baron reaches into his inner pocket and pulls out a folded piece of paper. Instead of Greg, however, he hands it over to me. Confirm something for me. Up in the right corner, what do you see? Some kind of print of what looks like to be a camera recording. With a landscape that might be one of the suburbs, or maybe the western edge of the city. As I scan it, I realize what the rat was referring to. Oh yeah, I think that's, um... him. The Baron takes the printed photo back and hands it to Greg. This is a recording from a small store near the docks, taken around 15 minutes before Michael crashed into the building with the raccoon in it. And you believe this shape over here is the attacker? Yes. I see. Husky falls silent as he continues to examine the dot with a green outline. Is there any activity at the docks that could be related? Greg sounds distracted as he replies. Hmm? Near the docks? Nothing immediately relevant to the situation, no. Our operatives have been investigating some unusual weapon shipments that are brought here illegally, but I don't see how that would I don't see how that could be connected. It's a lead. Better than nothing. Perhaps. I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you that a kill order has been issued for this wolf. Isn't it a bit too early for that? Is it? He killed Templar. I thought the Baron of all people would be happy to hear this, but for some reason he shows no sign of that. I will keep that in mind. Our first priority will be to capture him and find out why he did what he did, though. I have no objections, however. If capture seems impossible, know that you don't have to hesitate in using lethal force. The rat nods. I'll be taking a look at this weapon situation myself. So long as you don't interfere with spec activity. Do I ever? I will forward you some information. I appreciate that. The sooner we catch this wolf, the better. And the, it's the Husky's turn to nod. Is that all for tonight, then? Unless you'd like to chat some more with Templar. I think we're done for now. Indeed. You know how to get in touch with me, Nick. Make sure you come visit. Mm-hmm. With that, I stand up, shake hands with Greg again, and step outside. The Baron lingers a moment, exchanging more words with the Husky before following after me. We don't talk. The Baron phones phones jo, phones Jose, who arrives in less than a minute. Uh, shall I drop off Mr. Saunders first, sir? No, he'll be coming with us. He needs to pick up his car. Understood. I stare out the window, trying to sort how I feel about the meeting with the director of spec. In the end, it went exactly how it was supposed to. I think, I think. We met Greg, we, we met, Greg made his offer, and I politely refused. So that's a good thing, right? Except, somehow I feel more uneasy now than before the meeting. Like before, the ride is silent. As we drive up to the mansion, however, the Baron tells me to follow him inside from for another chat. Jose stops the car near the main entrance, and the rat leads me to his office. Not bad, raccoon. Got a bit needlessly wordy there, but at least you at least you should understand firmly that there's no reason... At least Greg should understand firmly that there's no reasoning with you. I wasn't unreasonable at all. For once, I'll agree with you, but that's not how he will see it. He didn't push for it as hard as I thought he would. Yes, but I get the feeling he realized early on that you were a lost cause. Good. Bet he was hoping for someone a bit more pliable when I told him Danny wouldn't be Templar. I always strive to disappoint. Well, seems like stubbornness is one trait required of Templars. Was Michael like that? He had his moments. And Daniel? Danny isn't Templar. Yeah, but... We can start your training tomorrow. Sure. What about that stuff with uh, the docks and all that? The rat looks away, thinking for a moment. I'll scope out the situation, and from there we'll see if it can make a good outing opportunity for you. I doubt he will be making an appearance. Right. I want to do it either way. Patience. Fine. 
So am I really your employee now? Mm-hmm. Okay, as long as I'm not expected to do any actual work for you. How ungrateful. Hey, I didn't ask you to do this. I like to make sure that you guys are able to focus on the task at hand without having to worry about rent. Well, I mean, I won't say no, it's not like you can't afford it. Uh-huh. Cool. Not even a thanks. Oh, fine. Thank you for getting Greg off my back. That wasn't the point. Well, it's what I'm grateful for. Alright, scram before I succumb to the urge to make tomorrow a lot more difficult. I'll be ready for whatever comes my way. If you say so, be there at four. Sure. Adios. Good night. <laughs> Jose is standing outside smoking. We exchange a couple words about the evening before I finally get in my car. Luckily, the traffic is light at this time of day. I grab a can of soda at the store and after I take care of parking, then head up to the dorm. Lucas isn't there again, but I decide not to text him to see what he's up to. Instead, I text Vince. Hey, Vince. How's it going? The tiger takes a while to reply, though. Must have caught him at a bad time. Oh, hey, Nick. <coughs> Night's going well. Went out to a bar with some friends. Now let me distract you, then. Just wondering if I might see you see you up at the park tomorrow. Nah, buddy, you can text me anytime. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, Lord. Please, please don't let me have the hiccups right now. Yeah, okay. Not sure if I'll swing by. Were you there today? Nope. Dinner with the Husky. Shoot, that's right. All good. All right, seriously, just go enjoy your night. Catch you later. Sure thing, buddy. Good night. Ah, well, good to know Vince is having a better Sunday night than I am. wonder what Nisus is up to. He doesn't seem like the texting type. Oh, well, maybe I'll see him in Unbound tomorrow. Uh-oh. After a week of absence, the Sentinel's headquarters is more of a comforting sight than it was before. Uncertainty about my future had made the previous stay full of anxiety. Now that I know what lies ahead of me, it feels more welcoming. Even Gil's droning monotone as he guides me through the facility. I've gotten here early. Since the Baron isn't around yet, I've asked Gil to give me a tour of the place. I'm showing all three levels of the base, the bottom one housing some critical functions in the cave where we park our vehicles. The training room I'm already familiar with is on the second level, with some extra ones with slightly different functions than a gym. The topmost one I've explored more or less in full already, apart from personal apart from personal headquarters, and personal quarters and a couple extras like the like the data processing room and a hidden elevator to the surface. The lab The lab is currently in disuse. Let me know if you intend to use it, Templar, and I will ensure the right materials are available to you. I doubt that'll be necessary. I'm exactly a science a science guy over here. How come nobody uses it? It was primarily in use by my creator who no longer has need of it. Your creator? The Baron? I was designed by Copycat and her husband. Oh, right. Copycat was the founding member of the Sentinels, but she died, al she died almost. What was it, seven years ago? Shit, I hadn't even thought about how Unbound is the only remaining member of the founding trio now. Suddenly I feel really uncomfortable standing in this lab. So, Copycat was a science lady, huh? She is still engaged in research at Brownford University. She's what now? Dr. Lawson is a tenured professor at bio of biophysics at Brownford University. I thought Copycat was dead. She no longer uses the alias. Oh, I see. Would you like to access t to access Templar's quarters? Uh, later. I... Hello, Nick. Oh, hey. Didn't realize you were around. As Nisus approaches, he glances quickly into the still open door to the lab. Exploring? Yeah, Gil was just showing me around. He was just telling me about Copycat, actually. Right. I had no idea she was still around, since it was reported that she, you know... She had a life outside being a superhero, and chose to return to it. Oh, so that's why she faked it? Yeah. So she's completely done with it, with, done with this life? No. She ups out occasionally. Fang pays her a visit from time to time. She's pretty fond of him. I see. She was at the funeral. She was telling Fang when she wanted to, she was telling Fang she wanted to meet you. Oh. Well, I'd be happy to. How uh, how are you holding up? Fine. That's good. I'm supposed to train with the Baron first time. Bit nervous to be honest. Want me to be there? Oh no, it's fine. I'm sure you got things to do. I don't, not right now. Still, it's fine. Thanks though. Okay. 
I am sorry to interrupt, Templar, but you requested to be alerted when the Baron in Black arrived. He is here now. About time. Let's go. He just surprises me by leading the way. Didn't know you'd be here. I was getting some things in order. I'll be out soon. Anything interesting happening? Nope, just helping a, uh, acquaintance. Mm-hmm. All right. You two done with the Greg stuff? Yes. Offer rejected. I also seem to have acquired a job with Mr. Braun. Welcome to the club. I'm just glad I don't actually have to do anything. Actually, there's plenty you need to do. Yeah, but I mean, like, be around you outside the Templar stuff. As if I have any reason to cherish your company. Actually, people think I'm very charming. You need to get better at showing it. Oh, look who's talking. <laughs> I can be charming when I need to, raccoon. You're both kind of annoying right now. Hmm? What was that? Nothing. I'll be going. Good luck with, uh, whatever is, uh, going on here. <laughs> Zoop! What's up with him? Don't worry about it. The fox is always like this. Come on! The rat taps a familiar panel on the wall. A short elevator ride later, we're back in the white training room. First things first. What's your preference in terms of combat style? Well, as you said, I have no experience, so how would I know? What's your instinct? Big bad dude starts menacing you in an alleyway. Do you run? Stand and get ready to defend yourself? Go on the offensive? I need a bit more to work with. Uh, paint me a scene. There's enough of a scene. Ugh, okay. Uh, I want to say I'd attack? A point waiting to get a beating, right? Then how come you just stood there last time? You took me completely by surprise. Mm-hmm. We can figure it out in practice. You mean... The Baron throws aside his cane and cracks his knuckles in an obvious show of his intentions. Uh-oh. Not this shit again. I just barely managed to jump to the side, his fist whooshing past me, finding empty air where my abdomen would have been a split second ago. I don't wait for the armor to form completely. I pivot on my left foot and push off the floor, fist aimed at the metal helmet. Like before, the armor has started forming on my right side, so that it's... So, so that's the arm I swing at the rat. He catches it, redirecting the blow, and I stumble past him. The brief moment I'm off-balance, it could have been used for a counterattack, but by then the armor's finished forming, and the Baron stands still, examining it. I was slow, Raccoon. I avoided your attack. I mean the armor. It should form much quicker than that. Huh? But really? The Baron picks up his cane before responding. It used to be pretty much instant. I see. Maybe it's just a matter of practice. He looks me up and down. It looks different than from before. I make a show of examining my armored torso and arms. Is that a bad thing? No, not necessarily. I can't tell if he sounds disappointed or not. You said you couldn't summon it, bef it before at all. I guess the threat of my fists was good. It was a good enough motivator. Actually, I have done it before. Didn't I tell you not to do it unless one of us was around? Calm down and make sure nobody could see me. Plus, I would have just sat on my ass for several days otherwise. Isn't it a good thing I, I practiced? That's not a bad thing, I suppose. But seriously, cut this shit out. If I tell you to do something, it's for a good reason. I don't... I find that I don't have a good... I find that I don't have a good retort, so I concede his point and nod. Have you practiced flying, too? Just a little bit, in my room. I didn't jump off a roof or anything. I'd hope not. Summoning the armor instantly would obviously be much better. It takes two, maybe three seconds to form fully. And that time can prove crucial if I'm in a real fight. Help, so much of my back was still unprotected when the Baron diverted my blow. He could have easily done some damage before the armor covered it. So then I guess I'll practice a lot more with it. To, uh, catch up. Obviously. I don't expect any surprises as far as you getting into combat anytime soon, but then again, there wouldn't be surprises otherwise. If something happens, I need you to be protected as soon as possible. So you want me to focus on defense? That was Michael's preference. Although, of course, we're going to cover all bases. I just wanted to gauge what your preferences are. Well, if I'm wearing a very strong suit of armor, I'd be inclined to attack a lot more, since I wouldn't need to be as cautious. Caution is always a good idea. Sure. I said not as cautious. Hmm. Maybe. We do differ in that. If something hits me hard enough, there won't be much of me left. You and Superfang can take a lot more punishment. Yeah, exactly. So I'm guessing Templar didn't use the mace all that much? Only when he needed to. Wouldn't that be a lot of the time? 
No, remember, we can use lethal force only in specific circumstances. It's hard to wield a weapon like that when you need to constantly limit your strength. Sometimes it's just easier to punch someone out. Huh, makes sense. Have you practiced with the mace at all? Nope, not yet. He doesn't say anything to that, and guessing... And guessing, and guessing what he wants me to do, I stretch out my arm and close my eyes, and concentrate like I do when I summon the armor. Ooh. I imagine the mace as I remember it in Templar's hands, when he was using it to ward off the, the wolf's attacks. No weight lands in my, in my open palm, though. Opening my eyes again, I stare at my empty hand. Again, I imagine the mace there. That's fine. We can handle weapons training later. I let my hand fall to the side, feeling a growing frustration. It should be instinctive, right? That's how it felt when I first summoned the armor. But now I'm told it apparently takes me forever to do it, unlike my predecessor, and the weapon won't form at all. It's okay, if you say so. I'm sure Michael didn't get the hang of it immediately either. He probably had a lot more training than I did. He did. The bracelet was his mother's. It should have been his son's. How long are you going to dwell on that? You were the one who wanted me to give it up to him. You were the one who wanted me to give it up to him. And that ship has sailed. You've made your decision, and I'm going to work with what we have. So stop second-guessing yourself. Focus on improving your abilities. Okay, you're, you're right. The Baron starts showing me some moves I could have used in our brief scuffle earlier, explaining how I can cover my blind spots and react better to his attacks. If anything is with the armor on, all of his points would be moot. I pay attention, though, listening to his explanations and trying to move as instructed. Armor or not, this will come in handy. You're too erratic with the attack. Swing your arms less, or you'll just tire yourself out. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Huh? N nothing. I'm listening. Baron leans on his cane, silent. It'd be helpful if I could read his expression. The clockwork mask stares at me, the glass bits reflecting the brightness of the training room, but obscuring the rat's eyes. Listen, I can teach you how to fight, but I can tell you how Michael did things. I can tell you how Michael did things, but I can't teach you how to be Templar. At the end of the day, you'll need to figure that out yourself. I know that. But you can still get some outside help. You can talk with Danny. Well, fuck. I had, to thought about th I had thought about that already. After all, there's only one person who knows who knows all there is to know about the bracelet I'm wearing and all that comes with it. It's the same person who looked about ready to tear me tear into me the moment we met. I don't think he'd like that. Plus, I told Mrs. O'Connor that I'd be doing this, and her son doesn't need to be involved in all this. He won't be. You can still ask some questions. I'll think about it. I might want to be wearing the armor when you at talk to Danny. I can talk with Danny. Ask him to beat with us. No, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna ask for his help, I'll do it myself. If you insist. He's a good kid. Just don't be an ass, and I'm sure he'll tell you what you need to know. Okay. I think this is enough for today. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. I don't know how much is left. Uh, if you guys in the comments can let me know, I'll probably make... If it's, it's a short enough amount of content left, I'll just make a short video. Or, you know, the usual. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!